second wave of pager device explosions have hit the Lebanon. Uh, uh, meanwhile, killing more than 20 people and wounding more than 450 in Hezbollah strongholds. This comes a day after the sudden explosion of several uh, paging devices used by Hezbollah. Two back-to-back -back explosions have killed almost 32 people and 3,000 people have been injured altogether. Meanwhile, Lebanese government and Hezbollah both have blamed Israel for the attack. U.S. denied the accusations, though, of any involvement in the explosions. Brian Thomas joins us uh, for more on this story. Brian, uh, uh, two back-to-back -back explosions leading to several casualties and many more injuries in Lebanon. Give us details. Well, Uday, definitely, you know, it has sparked a, a major, you know, outrage in Lebanon also where this very blast has happened, which has caused, caused havoc also because around 32 people there have been killed in this major blast that happened in Lebanon and which also resulted in injury of around more than 3,000 people. So definitely it's a very tragic incident that happened in Lebanon as well, where, you know, the Israeli military and uh, Iran-backed Hezbollah members also have been fighting across the Lebanese border. And now 32 people were killed and more than 3,250 injured as walkie-talkie and pages that was used by the very Hezbollah members blew up in its stronghold across Lebanon in the last two days. This even stokes fear also of an all-out war with Israel. Now, uh, the members also that was used by the Iran-backed Hezbollah blew up in its Beirut stronghold as well and killing more than 32 people. Now, Hezbollah has also said that Israel, rather, and Hezbollah blames that Israel was fully responsible for this criminal aggression and vowed revenge and says that Israel has not uh, so far officially said anything about the explosion and says that the, even what we are getting to know from the sources also that Israeli spies also remotely detonated explosives that they pl planted in a Hezbollah order of 5,000 pages before they entered the country. Now, Hezbollah members also turn to pages and other low-tech communication devices also to evade Israeli surveillance of mobile phones. And uh, Hezbollah, which is Iran's most powerful proxy in the Middle East, also said on Wednesday that it attacked Israeli artillery positions with rockets. And the Israeli military, however, said that there were no reports for any damage or casualty. Now, post that, the U.S. has also warned all sides against escalation in the Middle East after two days of blast in Lebanon and says that they don't want to see an escalation of any kind and they don't believe that uh, this is a way to solve and they are at the crisis by additional military operations at all, as said by John Kirby also. Now, Antonio Guterres also, United Nations chief, warned that the pager blast targeting Hezbollah indicate a serious risk of a dramatic... Ryan, stay with us. In fact, Major General A.K. Sivach, defense expert, is also joining us now live. Uh, uh, Major General Sivach, uh, shocking developments coming in from Lebanon. Uh, now, walkie-talkie is also exploding, leading to even more casualties across the uh, country. No doubt, uh, no Uday, this is a very well-planned, uh, thought-out strategy of uh, Israel. The issue is simple as that. Initially, they have targeted the pages because uh, basically all the Ezbula, uh, was trying to communicate to the pages because that is the least pattern because it gives us basically uh, you utilize only the local communication neither it has got microphone nor it has got phone nor it has got GPS so the point is it's very difficult to detect otherwise when they were using mobile uh, they can be easily detected by the Israelis and they can be targeted so initially they have ensured that the pages which has come from Europe uh, because this company which had outsourced from Taiwan to in from Hungary, that in the uh, chain supply they have infiltrated and put the sex process. But now the issue is coming that it is not only the pages but the walkie talkie and even some mobile has been targeted. So one can imagine the, the total paralysis with uh, Israel in case they have done it because they are still not owned up. But the footprint looks like that. Possibly it is done by Basad, but they have totally crippled the communication system of the Hezbollah and the, and the fear which they have generated in the mind of the people in Lebanon as well as in uh, Hezbollah. Remember that even the Iran ambassador has been also uh, uh, injured. So overall, a very well thought out strategy. And this uh, one thing is very clear. The chances of uh, a ceasefire between Israel and Hamas are very, very less now. And also the war will escalate between Israel 
and Hezbollah. And you will find it in time to come. The intensity of the war they will increase rather than decrease. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.